Hello guys, it's Perfish 51 here, and today I am going to review the Hot Wheels Stun Kit Set. So here it is. So this is basically my birthday, one of my birthday gifts. So yeah, now we're going to open it. So I already uh, just, just opened the tape in the bottom so that uh, it goes faster in the video. Wait, it's from the other side. So this is what is inside the box. This one is laid out. So it's got many pieces. So first up, we have this launcher pad. And then, this wow, this is a very big uh, launcher. And then we got this uh, next launcher. We've got this one intersection piece. All the connectors and the pivot points. This uh, thing right here. This is some sort of loop track, as you can see. It's a loop, loop form. This is a maybe it's like one of the endings of a loop. We've got some uh, straight tracks and uh, this. Uh, I think this is a a measuring ramp or something like that. This white piece. Another intersection piece. Whatever this is. This is a landing pad. Then this is a... Maybe this is a jump. Connectors. Right here, second one. And then we got this a big piece. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. Then I have this... Thing, but I'm not sure what this is. This piece and this. So inside uh, they also come in with some uh, paper, some decorated paper. Or should I say cardboard? And then there's also some decorated cardboard road. Next up, there's this there's this sheet of sticker. And then finally wait, that's not final. And finally, there is the Track Builder Builder's Guide, complete with colors inside. Finally, there is the box, which turns into a set itself, and the Hot Wheels car. Can't miss that one. So, I am back, and as you can see, I built the first Hot Wheels layout. So, I also put it on the stickers. And the car that was included was the uh, Clear Speeder. This is a very good uh, track car. Works very well on this set. So uh, now I'm going to set up the, the first cars. So today I will be using the uh, Corvette C7R and the Asphalt Assault. So first up I am going to use the most boring road. So this is the road that basically leads to uh, nowhere. So we'll be using asphalt assault. So uh, in three, two, one, go. So now I'll be taking the clear speeder and I'll shoot down the most interesting part of the track. So here's the car. So uh, this will be launching in three, two, one. So, so now let's take a more precise angle of what the action is uh, happening. So three, two, one, go. So as you can see, mainly this track is about measuring how high your jump is. So uh, getting the the stick out is very easy, but putting it in makes a lot of a uh, clicking sound. So yes, this is about it for the first track layout. So now, let's go to the second one. So I am back here with the second layout. So this, so this second layout is named the Criss Cross Stunt, which is the level 2. So uh, for this one, I'll first be using one car, which will be the clear speeder, the car included in the set. I think 
that this car works really well. So uh, I'm glad they included this model. So yeah, got the launcher ready. So yeah, so in three, two, one, go. Now let's try this for a second time. In three, two, one, go. So now let's use the other launcher. Now using the asphalt assault. In three, two, one, go. Ah, uh, looks like asphalt assault isn't a great car for this track. So this concludes for the second layout, the crisscross stunt. So now we will be going to the third layout, the long jump stunt. So this is the third layout of the set. This is called the long stunt, no, the long jump stunt. So this is the level three, which consists of two launchers, one in a Chris room, which is basically useless. And then there's this uh, loop, which is pretty nice. And then there's this landing pad. Um, this is a new landing pad, in which I very love. And then it ends up with a uh, track. So now I have the third track layout. So I will be testing with uh, the Corvette C7R. So not so now I'm just gonna set up the lamp, the launcher first. And by the way, if you hear a phone sound, please just ignore it. Um, so yeah, in three, two, one, go. So as you can see, this one failed because the jump was too long. Actually, in fact, um, that was the minimal distance, so that means the Corvette C7R has totally failed. So now I am going to get the clear speeder. So now let's see if it works better. So in three, two, one, go! So that worked pretty nicely. Now I'm going to use the asphalt, asphalt? I mean asphalt assault, yeah. So I just hope this one works. In three, two, one, go! Uh, yes, this one works too. So uh, since I don't have, don't have a table available, I'll just be using my own bed. So this time I'll be doing, this is the uh, drop stunt. So this is the level four. So uh, as you can see this truck, it's pretty cool. So it's launcher, and then it goes past, and then it goes through a loop, the loop, and then, as you can see right here on the bottom, like that. So uh, I modified the track. Usually it was supposed to uh, drop, but uh, I seriously do not want my cars to fail, so I just put it along track, just to be sure it will not fail. So now let's start testing. So this is for the first camera angle. It will be the drop. So, this time, I will be using the Chevy Corvette C7. So then I'm going to be starting in 3, 2, 1, go! So as you can see, that was very successful. So now let's take a look at the other angle, which is about the loop. So this time I'll be using clear sphere. I'm just hoping that this will work. So, three, two, one, go! So, as we can see, this was a success. So, um, as you can see, there was not only four tracks. I mean, I know I can create some of my own, too, but yeah. So, um, here is what's cool. So, apparently, the box itself turns into a set by itself. So I did do that, and uh, as you can see, I'm not really good at doing that, so uh, I got the box damaged a little bit, so uh, yeah. So here it is, this is the box itself. So uh, here it is. When you open it, there are two doors that you can pop open. And then uh, I just put the, the uh, cardboard pieces inside there. So they are two pieces of roads, you already know. And some walls and some target bow guy. So I'll just show you how I do it. So I just took a scissor and I uh, contrasted the thing itself. 
And then I tried popping it up, but uh, since I'm weak, I don't know if you guys are weak as me, but uh, that took me uh, quite some time to do it because uh, this was uh, quite hard. So now let me show you the final result of what will happen. But first up, let's try the uh, other layout. So as you can see right here on the side, it's written that you can insert a road around here. So I have tried this myself. So um, all I can say is that this uh, piece of road right here, um, you can't, after doing that, you can't like reseal the box on this. So you can only uh, do this if uh, the box is open. So now I'm just insult inserting the second piece of road. It's not very easy in this angle. Okay. So now the two pieces of road are inserted. So now we just need a volunteer car. So yeah, so um, I picked some cars, so I chose these, the uh, bifocal two. So uh, right here I have to open the door. Um, close enough. And then I have to put my car here. And then it goes drop. And then it drops right into the wall instead of going through the garage. But uh, I guess you can always like put it in such an angle that it could make it. Oh, the road itself fell down. Well, let's try the other road. If it doesn't work, then uh, I'll just leave it like that. Because I don't have all day long. Well, that was close enough because the door was not open. Was not fully open. So now let's took let's take a look at the main thing that you probably wanted to see. So uh, I'll just uh, pop everything back on and be right back. So this is how it's supposed to look like. So it's got a ramp and then a fire pit hole. So uh, as you can see, there are some some knob some tabs right here, and they are made to insert your Hot Wheels track inside which is I think is a really nice touch let's consider a ramp right here and then you see two slots right here that you were supposed to pop off so those two slots you can put either the bullseye right here or you can put the wall like that but me personally I will not put anything on I just want my cars to uh, do the stunt so yes, I am going to insert a track from the other side, like, and that's going to be it. So now I'm being ready and loaded. My focal tube is in right the right place. So now in three, two, one, go! Whoa, definitely went way too far. So this time I'll only do about uh, two notches. One, two. Wait, that's four. One, two. Okay. Maybe that's three, I'm not sure. So now this uh, Corvette C7R is loaded and ready to go. In three, two, one, go! Oh, that's also too far. So now I'll try with only one notch. Wait, that's two. One. I'll test out this uh, Mustang and see if one notch is good enough. Three, two, one. Go! Oh, well that's about to be good enough. So yes, this is my review of the set. So after, right after this part, I will say the few special mentions about this set that I really like. So hello and welcome to the extra part of this video. I won't be calling it really an extra, but sure. So uh, what I really love about this set is that they definitely improve the quality. As you can see this launching, this landing pad, it's connected with something, but this is what I really love because uh, usually the, my land pad just uh, flies away. And also here, there's a suspension point. So I think that's pretty neat and it really works very well. And these uh, type of launcher and also the base, they are, uh, they do have, uh, many of the track pieces have some of these uh, space right here. So I can see in the manual instructions that you can put a piece of Lego block. 
So that's very interesting that uh, you can de can decorate your launcher with some Lego blocks. You even put underneath right here. Here is also some space. So yes, this is what I really love about this uh, new this new set. I love the quality and the reconfigurations and stuff like that. So this has been my review. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next video, this is the Pufferfish 5-1 out.